on? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to headspace this gun. So first thing, you want to open the top cover. Grab the charging handle, pull it back a little bit. Make sure there's no round in that chamber. It's a safe gun. Okay. You're going to need a screwdriver. I'm going to pull this bolt back. I hold it with my hand like that. And I take the driving rod spring in right here with a screwdriver. Press it in and turn it to the right. Just until it locks. You can feel it click and it's locked. Okay, then you move the bolt forward a little bit like this to get the driving rod spring out of the way. Now your top cover latch, you got to push forward. And you could do that with a screwdriver right here. Make it easier on you. Push that forward That's to release this back here so you can lift the bolt or the uh, charging handle up out of the way. Then you want to pull the bolt back, take the bolt handle out. Take the bolt out of the gun just like this. Be careful that driving rod spring. If it flies out of there, it'll hurt you. A lot of spring in there. And just real quick, I'll show you how you get it out. You want to press it up against something and turn the bolt to the left. Let the rod start coming out and grab it. When it gets right here, you want to pull it out fast. Because you don't want the spring to squirt out the side of the bolt and get all kinked up. Now when you go to put that back in the gun, put your spring back in. Make sure that, you know, that's going to be in position so it can lock for you. I grab the spring with this left hand and I shove the spring on to the rod. I don't try and shove the bolt on because the spring goes like that. So I shove the spring onto the rod and you only have a little bit left right here. Wiggly spring. Line those ears up. Put that in. You might want to hold that a little bit. Turn it. Make sure that that's up and down. It's clicked in. And that's safe. But still don't you know, don't be looking at it too much. I always point that the other way when working on a gun. Okay, now we got to get it the rest of the part. You want to lift that up a little bit. Take your bolt handle, push it into this hole. And you got to press that in. Grab it with your thumb, press that in. Hold everything back out of the gun like this. Okay? At this point, you can grab your, your lock frame and hold the barrel extension, and push with your thumb on this accelerator tip, and it will, and I kind of push forward on, like that a little bit to kind of just get that up out of the way like that, okay, and as you can see, to line that back up, these ears have to go under there, these has to go in there, see how that's coming up in there, also this, this here little driving rod spring right here, has to be onto that hook right there. Can't be under, you'll, you'll bind it up. Gotta be right there, and then shove it back in and make sure that's down. That's how that stays locked together, okay? So, <clears throat> you know, that, that comes apart just like that. Looks easy and it is easy. If you ever take your trigger out, take the spring out, just peel the, you know, you don't have to take it all the way out, just enough to get the trigger out trigger is in two pieces. To get the trigger apart, start going like I pinch the side so you don't want to lose that spring right there. Pinch it and kind of work it, twist it and pull it down like that. And your spring will come out of there. Kind of like that. Yeah? Those, three, those are your pieces. Now to put this back together, I take that spring, I put that in there, I shove that down in like that. No, sorry. It's hard to do it when I'm showing, but push that in there. Leave it out to the side like that. You take the bottom half of the trigger and you press down on it, the spring, and then slowly wiggle it up without, don't pinch the spring in there or nothing, and put it back together. You might have to push it forward a little bit. Just don't force nothing. Okay, now it's back together. Okay? And just be careful it won't fly apart. But I usually always just keep it in the lock frame. Put the lock frame back together just like that. 
It's easy to do it here. Put that to the top. Line that hole up. Push the pin back in. Might have to push that forward a little bit. Okay, it's in. Okay? Just take that back out. Set it there. Now you want to head space your gun, so you got to get this spring out of the way. This razor's got this nice spring. Just kind of move that forward and then get it up, up, and out of the way. Okay? This one's a little different. They're all a little different. It's, you know, some of them have a tab going forward also. So take this out of the gun, but don't forget to put it back in later. So you screw the barrel in, but you don't have to screw it in until it's like tight. You just, just break it free right there. Okay. Everything comes out of the gun. So put it back in the gun. Bring it up to here. Put your lock frame back on, line everything up. Just line it up. Make sure that rod is on there. Shove it forward. Press that down too. That keeps it locked together so it doesn't fly apart on you. Because it could fly apart on you in the gun. And you wonder why it won't go together. So slide it up. Now that spring needs to be pressed. Press that in. Okay. Line it. Get it. When it's almost all the way in like this, just shove everything forward. Sometimes if it sticks a little bit, just pull it back out. And shove it in. Sometimes it don't want to go. So let's see, we'll pull that back out. I got the accelerators up there. That's why you don't want to have the barrel so tight. It locks everything up on you. I didn't loosen it quite enough. Loosen that up. Causing me a little grief here. Yeah. Always something new. Okay. I usually loosen that just a little bit like that. Okay. And say, and I push that in. Some guns, sometimes you'll feel it hitting there and you could press down on that. But watch your finger ain't near because it'll get pinched in there. You can press down on that as you're putting it all together like that. Okay? Make sure, you know, that pin pops out. You're even back here where your plate would go down in. Okay. So now you take your bolt, put it back in the gun. Just like this in your extractor. It lifts up, comes right out of the side like that. Sets in there, goes like that. This caulking lever has to be forward. Okay? So put that in the gun. Wiggle it around until it goes in. And then, uh, oh, there's the hole. Right there. Okay, now you want to, you got that forward. Put your back plate on. You got to press your top cover latch forward a little bit just to let that down. Bring it back. Hold the bolt handle. You don't want it to slam forward because it's going to smash hard and it's not head space yet. You know, hit your breech lock too hard. You don't want to break nothing. Probably won't, but yeah. Okay, so now we're looking to close this gap right here. So you want to pull the bolt back approximately, you know, an inch or so, something like that. And one click at a time, I open that up. And I line this top groove up right here, straight up and down. And actually, when the right side of this groove, right here, this line on the right side of that groove is in line with this. When that's all in line, that just means that this barrel locking spring is in line on the side. That's the way I do it. That's how you know that straight up and down. So one click at a time. Pull it back. One more space like that. One more click. Line that up straight on top. See, that's in line. And see if it'll close. Nope. Still got a gap there. Pull it back. One click. Let it close. Nope. Pull it back. One click. Still won't close. One click. Nope. One click. Okay. Now you see right here that, that all closed up. Right here, there's no gap. 
At this point, you pull it back and give it two clicks. One, two. We say clicks because a .30-06 gun has a rounded spring, rounded notches, and you can actually just click it with a screwdriver. This is the Israeli conversion. They're actually better, and then we're going to come loose on you. So now, take the gun apart one more time. <clears throat> Bolt handle back. You press your driving rod spring, and it's got to be in this position. Screwdriver slot this way. Push it in. Turn it. When it once it gets to a 45, I, I let up. That's how you know it's locked in there. And then I turn it real lightly until you hear it click. That's how you know it's locked in there. Push the bolt handle forward enough to, to move that out of the way of the back plate. Put your screwdriver here. Press lift off. Take the bolt back out. You press the trigger locking pin. Pull it back out. At this point, you want to be careful. You don't want to be moving and lose your adjustment right there. The adjustment is right there. So that, when that's lined up just like I showed you, without moving anything, you turn it to the side here. That's all in line. This, you get to press with this barrel locking spring back in. We want to go there. So I, then you press down with your thumb right here and push back. Press down, push back. If you don't want to go, you can always use a screwdriver or something like that. Now it's in that notch. That's where it goes. Turn it back over. Put everything back in. Press it. Put your bolt back in. Bolt handle. Blackbird gun, this is your trigger return spring. And uh, I've been shooting mine for, I don't know, since 1999. You never have to take that out. You don't have to worry about taking it apart. Just put a drop of oil in there if you want once in a while. I don't even oil mine. I oil them, grease them. There you go, that's down in there. Pull the bolt back. Release it. This gun is head space, ready to shoot. Always make sure this lever is over to the left because it has to line up in that groove. Put down there. Ready to shoot. Now, on a normal day, you should always take that gun apart just like regular cleaning. Take it apart. There's nothing to it. Pull it back. Lock that in there. Go like that. Now, take everything apart. out of there. Get a little thinner tip screwdriver here. Get started. Maybe this one a little thinner. There we go. Do this every time you shoot your gun. Head spacing will be no problem for you. This is part of cleaning a Browning 1919. Clean your barrel real nice. Clean everything up. Back together, it doesn't take long at all. Screw that back on. And they say don't leave it too tight, you want to loosen it a little bit, otherwise, it'll jam up like it did the very first time I tried to show you. Your lock frame back on, and everything comes apart if you want. All these pins just push right out, you know, for cleaning and stuff. A little bit longer, or something. All right, you know, just have to look at it and put that back in. We could do another video later, but I mean, this is just getting your head spacing. I'm going to head space it one more time, just quickly, just like you would if you were done it a lot. Whoop! Uh, you heard that? I clicked everything forward because down inside the gun, I accidentally hit the accelerators, which I don't know if you'll be able to see, so you have to. Take your one finger inside the barrel extension and put another finger on it, shove it back, relock it. 
I just hit the accelerator, which shoved everything forward is all that happened. Put that back in there. And then, okay. Ease it up because it hasn't been head spaced. And do your head spacing again. Now, I know this gun is going to need a couple of them, so I, nope, won't close. Make sure you do this every time. Won't close. Won't close. There, it just closed. And if you ever say, ah, I'm not sure, you can move it back one. Yep. Nope. It's not going to close. I still have the gap. You still see the notches on the barrel. Open it up one click. There it goes. It's closing. I'll give it two more clicks. One. And two. That's where it's head spaced at. Do not forget to put that spring in there. The barrel will come loose. You'll blow your gun up. I guarantee you'll blow your gun up. Do not lose your spot. I look, oh, there it is. I didn't move nothing. Spring back in. Put it in there. Shove it in. Back in again. So it doesn't take long on a normal day of shooting and cleaning. That's what you do every time. Ready to go. Safe gun. Okay, thanks. Good luck.